feet and lost about 20 pounds. Today was the 15th annual Patriot Freedom Festival here at the Dayton VA. This year's theme, honoring our military heritage. And there was everything from historical military reenactments to tours to a Frisbee golf tournament. The festival continues through tomorrow at 6 p.m. And AAA estimates more than 43 million Americans are traveling over the long holiday weekend. This means extra troopers as well, making sure people are buckled up and following the rules on the road. Slower speeds, maintain speed limits. Uh, stay, keep an eye on what's going on. Uh, don't be on your phones. Pay attention. There's a lot of traffic out here. Last year, 18 people died over the holiday weekend here in Ohio. Seven of those were connected to drunk drivers. Let's take you out west, where flash flooding has hit parts of Oklahoma, Kansas, and Missouri. And as CBS's Kenneth Craig reports, the more it rains, the more concern there is for a decades-old levee system protecting northeastern Oklahoma. After days of heavy rains and flooding, Oklahoma officials say people who live along the Arkansas River should prepare to evacuate in case there's a levee breach. They have never been tested like they will be over the next uh, four or five days. Experts predict that the pressure on the levees that protect the area around Tulsa will continue until Wednesday. If you and your family live behind it, um, the level of risk that you have in staying there is very high. The path of devastation from a week of tornadoes and storms in the central U.S. and southern plains keeps widening. In Laverne, Oklahoma, two homes destroyed by a tornado can be seen from above. Residents search through the ruins in a nearby pond. Tornadoes slam parts of Iowa on Friday. Some express relief it wasn't worse. Just thankful that we weren't out here and that it didn't hit the house or us. The valuables are good. And in Rawls, Texas, heavy flooding from more than five inches of rain sent water into homes and stranded cars all over town. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, New York. And meteorologist Molly Coates joins us. Um, earlier today, some thunderstorm watches quiet now, but uh, you're looking at some concerns moving forward. That's right. All of the severe weather has moved out of the Miami Valley, which is good news. And we are seeing quiet conditions right now. But I'm going to time out for you in just a few moments of the incoming storms that will impact your Sunday morning and afternoon and even into your evening. But let's take a look at conditions right now. We're at 72 degrees. We're still fairly warm. And our dew points are right at 66 degrees. So it will feel muggy when we do walk out the door with those dew points being into the middle to up. 60s. Live Doppler 7, we're scanning the skies for you every 60 seconds, and you can see a lot of the storms have pushed off to our east, and we are dealing with quieter weather right now. That's soon going to change as our next line of showers and thunderstorms will track towards the Miami Valley, and that will impact your Sunday forecast. Tonight, we're going to get down to 67 degrees. Overall, going to continue to stay fairly warm and muggy. Now, let's turn your attention to Sunday. You can see that the SPC, or the Storm Prediction Center, has issued a marginal risk for severe weather on Sunday. This means that conditions are favorable for stronger to severe storms to occur. So let's go ahead and get right to it and time it out for you on Futurecast to give you a better idea of what's going to be happening. This is going to be for the rest of the night. You can see that we are quiet and dry, and then we have that round of showers and storms that will quickly push through right around sunrise. And at right around 8 a.m., we will see a little bit quieter conditions, and then you can see more showers and thunderstorms will begin to roll through the area. Right around the late afternoon, temperatures will begin to heat up, and this is when our next round of showers and thunderstorms will push through the Miami Valley. We do have a risk for stronger to severe storms, and by Sunday night, you can see that conditions really quiet down and just little spotty showers uh, will be into the Miami Valley. And then going into your Monday forecast, we are looking to start the day off dry. Now, we are expecting damaging winds and hail to be the primary threats associated with these storms that do roll through, uh, along with some heavy rain. And this is what you can expect for your tomorrow's planner. Our temperatures will climb to the middle to upper 70s. 
and showers and thunderstorms will be in the forecast. So be sure to download the free WHIO weather app to help you stay weather aware. And if you are going out, it will tell you if there is lightning and rain in your current location if you enable those uh, push notifications there. Now, Memorial Day forecast, we have 8 a.m. temperatures into the upper 60s, and then we will see temperatures climb right back up into the 80s. And then scattered showers and thunderstorms will be a part of the forecast once again. We just can't seem to escape the chances for some showers and thunderstorms, can we? But it's that summer-like temperature pattern, which is why we are dealing with these scattered showers and thunderstorms for the forecast. It is looking like Tuesday is going to be the dry day out of the week. Temperatures will be very warm, right around 85 degrees. Wednesday and Thursday, we have the chances for those showers and thunderstorms to move back into the forecast, but we are much cooler on Thursday with highs into the middle to upper 70s. And the Mega Millions jackpot has passed $400 million. Keep in mind, folks, this is the 10th time in the game's history. And tonight, it is at $418 million. New Center 7 stopped by BG's Mini Martin Kettering. It sold a million-dollar winning ticket last fall. It said about 100 customers a day stop by and buy lottery tickets. The next Mega Millions drawing is Tuesday. Good luck. Five Rivers Metro.